Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the April Geek Gear World of Wizardry subscription box. So uh, I've been waiting for a long time for this box for whatever reason. It was really late this time, so uh, let's see what we got in there. Okay, so we'll start with the first thing I see, which is my packed by uh, little thing they give to let me know who packed it. And then uh, this is something I did see on Instagram, the, the tea for this month, Caramel Infusion Liquid Luck Tea. So, I don't know, I've tried one of these teas, but I'm uh, still not thrilled about them. But uh, I guess I'll drink it eventually. And then we see a necklace. It says, you're a wizard, and it has the Hogwarts H and a little lightning bolt. Uh, another thing to throw in my collection box that I'll never wear, but, okay. And then, oh, looks like we have a wand. Nathir wand. 13 and a half inches long. Sca snake scale core, and a, the wood type is black ash. Okay. Let's see, I'm more partial to character wands as opposed to original wands, but, This is actually pretty decent. I don't know if you can see, it's a, a snake's head on there and it curls around the wand. It's a pretty decent uh, wand design. I, I don't hate it, which is more to say than some of the others, but uh, okay. We'll put that to the side, that's not bad. Next we'll go with the t-shirt, black t-shirt. Looks like it's a Death Eater theme, kind of. Looks like a Death Eater mask there in the middle. Nice dark color palette, so not bad. I, I could see myself wearing that. Feels nice and soft. Um, oh, scratch and win. We'll have to do that then. And then Butterscotch Beer Fudge. So more edibles. I'm not a fan of these, these edibles. But it is what it is. Yeah. So it's three three pieces of fudge. Feels pretty hard. But alright. Back in that box. Wonder how long that's been sitting in the box. And it looks like we have our print. Which is a, actually, I like this print very much. It's a wand print. It has the wands with the various names under them. I don't know if you can see that too well. Just see the reflection. But uh, it's not a bad print. If I had, if I could find any more room on the wall, this, this seems wall worthy. I like it. Um, oh, and then we have, it says Liquid Luck. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a small vial of liquid luck. Looks like it has just gold um, glitter in there. So, again, this is the kind of items I like. A small prop, almost. A collectible. Something that I don't see anywhere. Like, that's... This item is definitely a plus. Probably my favorite of the, of the box. We have our little cheat card here, so we'll open that. Okay. Yeah, Dark Arts t-shirt. The wand. Yeah, replica with liquid luck vial. So yes, that's good. So yeah, those are pretty good. Oh, we gotta do the scratch card. So let's see what we got here. Not a winner, surprisingly. So, all right. Um, overall thoughts on the box. I'm going to say, uh, compared to the last couple of boxes, this was a hit. The t-shirt I like. The wand is decent. The liquid luck I really like. The print I like. The only thing, the edibles. Uh, you're never going to get me on board with the edibles, especially not the tea. Um, and the fudge. That doesn't seem like something... 
that should be included in this box and, and this necklace. I mean, it's fine for what it is, but I'm never going to wear it. So, overall, I'm going to give that a positive rating, though. Decent box. Glad I subscribed. Worth the wait to come for it. So, uh, we'll see what next month brings. Alright, so thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you again next month.